The big news that broke the other day was that Devontae Adams, the Raiders are going to trade him. Now, I will admit, coming into this season, I was like, no, there's no way. There's no way Devontae Adams gets traded. Because um, I watched uh, Receivers and stuff, the Netflix thing where they covered, which I like that series from Netflix anyway. Like, last year was quarterbacks, this year was receivers. I think next year they should do defensive uh, players. I mean, just to see how comfortable, like, he, he's always wanted to play for the Raiders. Those who have been Packer fans that know he's always wanted to play for the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders right now, they're not going anywhere for the next two, three seasons probably. They're probably going to go out and get a quarterback in this draft. I know they went and got O'Connell, but like, you're telling me that you would take Minshew or O'Connell over Quinn Ewers, Jackson Dart, Carson Beck, Jalen Milrow. They won't, especially with how well Cam Ward's been playing this season. The Raiders aren't going to keep him. So there's no reason for Adams to not waste his time, but yeah, waste two or three years to watch that rookie quarterback come in and develop. Because like, look at the receivers for the Colts that have hung around. Look at the um, look at the receivers that stayed in Carolina, whether by their own choice or by force. You know, like the Adam Thielen's of the world. Look at what has happened with Bryce Young. Um, everybody wants to go play for Houston now with you know C.J. Stroud, even though Houston's been kind of mid. Um, if the Raiders, they're going to trade him. They wouldn't trade him to Kansas City. Like, whoever whoever's thinking he's going to go to Kansas City because Kansas City has a lot of injuries right now and not a good receiving core, forget that. Throw that away because there's no way in hell the Raiders are going to give up Adams to Mahomes, especially within the division. Like, are you kidding me? There's no way that that's going to happen. If he were to go anywhere and leave the Raiders, he's going to go to New York. Because if you listened to how he talks with the media, how receivers portrayed him in that documentary, like he's talking about chasing greatness. The only quarterbacks that I would see Adams going and playing for is Rodgers, Mahomes. Um, I wouldn't even say Brock Purdy. I wouldn't even say Josh Allen. Maybe Josh Allen. Maybe Josh Allen. But like Lamar Jackson? No. Because the Brock Purdy, Lamar Jackson... Um, and Josh Allen. The thing is, they'd have to give up a big piece to get Adams because nobody's just going to give up Adams willy-nilly. Like, I'm looking at the Jets, and I'm thinking that the Jets are probably going to give up. Like, we know Garrett Wilson is not on the trading block. We know Sauce Gardner's not on the trading block. I have a shaking suspicion, Alan Lazard, which would suck because it's like, dude, Lazard's a pretty decent wide receiver give up picks and maybe like a fourth or fifth just a wide receiver room kind of guy because I, I don't know i don't know like because to have lazard garrett wilson Devonte adams um Brees hall i mean there there's a lot of there's a lot of weapons for aaron Rodgers. there's a lot of weapons for that jets team so there's no excuses but yeah, uh, but you know you know the raiders aren't going to give him up that easy and if he doesn't go to the jets then He's probably going to play one more season with the Raiders and be like, all right, I'm out. This shit sucks. So...